But all of the Dan principles are important. The diet, the supplements, you know, making sure the bowel's in order, etc. Every one of those uh, principles I follow adhere to and, you know, I put my patients on them. The only thing that's different about me probably than my colleagues is uh, I use methyl B12, so do many of my colleagues. But the difference is I use it in a way where I need to, I want to find out who's a responder or not, a methyl B12 responder. So I give children enough shots, the parents enough shots for the first six weeks. They take a shot once every three days, painless shot. The parents do it themselves at home. Uh, I give them a six-week supply so that they can follow up with me at the beginning of the fifth week. And at that time, the very most important thing I have the parents do is fill out something I call a parent-designed report form with a parent-specific documentation letter. The, there's 136 things methyl B12 does. And of those 136, most are good. Some are, you know, some are nuisance, side effects, etc. But I know then what it's doing and I know where the parents are grading it. And then the parents can also indicate the degree of change or the degree of response. Everything from mild is a one Mild to moderate is a two, moderate is a three, moderate to significant is a four, and significant is a five. And uh, what I find is my parents, 90% uh, 90 90 of the families report improvement. So nine out of 10 will show some kind of an improvement. Of that nine out of 10, 50% of the nine out of 10 will show, will score moderate to significant, and well, moderate or moderate to significant is the most common. Significance rare, which most people always will leave room to go further, which is right. 50% uh, will report mild or mild to moderate. And uh, the three areas that I see, basically 90% of the parents report higher executive function. The executive function is everything from awareness. Almost all of them report awareness, cognition, understanding cause and effect, where they are in time, place, space. One of the greatest perks that the parents say is the child's acting like, more like a normal child. We can go to a restaurant, we can go to a circus, we can go to a mall for the first time. Uh, that's one of the most common. That's 90%. 80% of parents report something to do with speech and language. It can be anything from increasing babbling to jumping the rungs of the ladder. One of my little girls missed the entire rungs of the ladder. She went from no speech, whatever, just a couple syllables to two weeks after she started the shot. She was sitting on the floor with her mother, who's a speech-language pathologist, and her special ed teacher. Again, she only had a couple, few syllables. No was one of them and nothing else. No language. Tested as a one-year-old. She was like just under three. She tested as a one-year-old. Uh, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, two weeks later, exactly two weeks later, while they're on the floor doing block therapy for a half an hour, she looks up and she says, okay, I'm finished with blocks. 